I'm here today with E.C. Sinkowski, who is the founder of Optimize Me Nutrition, and we are going to talk about real versus processed foods. Awesome. So CrossFit's nutrition prescription is eat meat and vegetables, nuts and seeds, some fruit, little starch, and no sugar. And notice there was no mention of processed foods in that description. So can you help us distinguish between real and processed foods when it comes to our health? Yeah, definitely. So when we're looking at nutrition for general overall health, what we really want is quality and quantity, the mm -hmm. right amount of quality and the right amount of quantity. And so when I talk about quality, what I mean is making sure that we get enough of the micronutrients, the vitamins and minerals, mm -hmm. enough of the fiber and enough of the phytochemicals, all those anti-inflammatory antioxidants that make fruits and veggies their bright mm -hmm. colors, right? So we want enough of that, but we also wanna make sure that we get enough overall quantity, how much to eat, right? Mm -hmm. Huge variation in that based on age, sex, genetics, activity, but we can measure that in calories or macronutrients. And so a lot of times people focus on either one, mm -hmm. which one's better, you know, and instead it's <laughs> the latest no. trend. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We want both, right? We want quality and we want quantity. And so what happens with processed food is we, we tend to have kind of a mismatch of that, mm -hmm. that we have a lot of quantity and not a lot of quality. They take out the water with processed food. They tend to add carbs and fat mm -hmm. to make it taste delicious, to sell. Tastes so good though, right? <laughs> <laughs> to remove the fiber, remove some of those micronutrients. And so mm -hmm. we, then we have excess quantity and not the right quality. Mm -hmm. And so this is why we find processed food is associated with all these chronic diseases from insulin resistance and high, um, high triglycerides, mm -hmm. and also of course, obesity. We just have too much quantity and not enough quality. So what are some basic guidelines, if I'm going to the grocery store, deciding what to eat in a restaurant, what are some basic guidelines for distinguishing between real and processed food? Yeah, people sometimes get a little wrapped around the axle about definitions <laughs> and what exactly is processed and not. I, I think one of the great ways to think about it is something that you could not make in your own residential kitchen, you know, mm -hmm. just go home and put together yourself is a great way to think about it. And when you're going to the grocery store, those real foods are on the perimeter, the shop, the perimeter that we've mm -hmm. heard. You want food that doesn't come in boxes and, and bags and has a long list of ingredients of things you don't have in your mm -hmm. residential kitchen. Words that you cannot understand, totally. you've never heard before, yes. Totally, and you, you want food that actually goes bad. So that should be the majority of foods that you're eating. Mm -hmm. And I think with that though, I'd just also like to little, make a little caveat of helping people divest from the notion of healthy snacks mm -hmm. because a lot of times these process variations have some great labels and mm -hmm. some great marketing to convince us it's way different but we see this huge demarcation in caloric density between processed, even if it's healthy or natural and all of this mm -hmm. stuff. So the majority of your food should look like food, should go bad, should have a shelf life. It should be so easy, right? <laughs> <laughs> it is, it is. So we know that it can be beneficial from time to time to go completely to real food and eliminate all processed foods and all sugar, but it doesn't have to be all or nothing like Correct. that. So what are some general recommendations that you have for incorporating more real food and less processed food on a regular basis? Yeah, the first one's gonna be ditch the diet dogma. I see so much <laughs> out there about it's gotta be the super food or it's gotta be organic or local and it's like, We've got 70% of people overweight or obese. We've got 80% of people not eating enough fruits and vegetables. I need you to pick the whole unprocessed foods that you will eat. That is mm -hmm. step one. There's so much benefit there, even if it's not locally sourced kale, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the second one is just use a really simple meal template. It's really easy to fill the plate with whole unprocessed foods. You're thinking about maybe a couple cups of fruits and veggies. Close fist mm -hmm. is a good guideline, right? The palm size protein is also awesome. That's gonna form the for foundation of your plate. And then you can fill out that plate with some grains, some nuts, as you need to, as you're still hungry. And most people will have about three to five meals, again, depending on size, age, activity, all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. And I think a good guideline there, because people always like specifics, as you know, Julie, how much, <laughs> how much of the grains, how much of the nuts can I have? Right. If they're looking to lean out, we need to cut back on those processed foods. And if they're trying to gain weight or they're very, very lean, they can have some more flexibility there, right? Mm -hmm. So that's gonna be the simple template. Use it over and over again. Let sales and maybe seasons kind of be mm -hmm. your guide to keep it a little bit interesting, right? Mm -hmm. That's gonna be a great tip, that um, template. And then finally, I would say, I really like breakfast setting up the win for the day. Mm. You know, yes, we can squeeze in some donut breakfast, but when you start the morning with a win, you're less likely to get off track and say, oh, the mm -hmm. diet starts tomorrow, right? Mm -hmm. So that's what I would recommend. I love that. And it's all about progress, not perfection, yes. right? We don't have to <laughs> lose the whole day even if breakfast isn't perfect. <laughs> Correct. Awesome. So thank you so much. What are some of the key takeaways that you want people to have when it comes to eating more real food? Quality and quantity. We need them both. Mm -hmm. Not either or. We want both. 
Uh, use your weight and body composition as your guide. You know, if you're not where you need to be, we need to cut back on the processed foods. If you're really lean, you can be a little bit more flexible there. Um, and use that really simple meal template. I know it sounds boring, but two cups of fruits and veggies, palm-sized protein, and then fill out the rest mm -hmm. of satiety. Amazing. So keep it simple. Doesn't have to be complicated. Thank you so much, Isi. Yeah, thank you.